All right, welcome to the F1D Build Log Vlog series. Uh, this is going to be episode two. I'm going to cover a couple of different things here. Um, very simple things that I think uh, you will need to get started with um, building. One of the things you're going to have to get good at is making wire um, pieces for um, the propeller, the propeller shaft, potentially doing nose uh, bearings if you don't like to use the Harlan type ones, and then also um, parts for the rear motor hook and such. There's really only three ones uh, that I think are useful. One is a long nose, uh, needle nose pliers, um, not particularly long nose, and they don't have to be spectacularly good quality for these. Um, it's better to have, uh, in my opinion, to have them be flat and not serrated on the inside jaws. Um, fairly pointed. These are uh, known as Beadsmith. I believe I got them out of uh, like Michael's. Um, a similar sort of one where it's just flat like this. Needle nose but flat and wider. These are really good for bending uh, flat, you know, straight uh, 90 degree bends and such. The one where I would recommend actually spending a little bit of money is a... This is one uh, that was sold by a company called Eurotool. This is a, a German-made product, um, and it's round um, for needle nose. So you can bend really nice uh, circles with this this puppy. And I think this one was around twenty bucks. Um, it's of much higher quality than the cheap ones I've seen that go for like five or six at Michaels. Um, you spend your money and you buy better tools. They should last you longer. The, the final one here is going to be a wire cutter. This is by a company called Xuron, X-U-R-O-N, and it is part number 2193. It is a small wire cutter. Um, these will last you, in general, two to three years, after which they don't really like to cut wire um, much thinner than this is 13 thousandths, I think, and it's still, I think, will cut this fairly well. Yeah, it'll still cut 13 thousandths. But if I go down to something lighter, this is 7 thousandths wire here I have, and yeah, it won't really cut it well. It kind of cut it, but it kind of bent it instead, too. So when you're getting to really fine wire, these, after a period of time, just don't work all that well. I'm finding now, um, I'm probably going to have to get another pair of these. Um, but I've had them for around five years, so it's not a bad, a bad thing. Um, another piece of kit that you will need to get, actually, are going to be double-edged razor blades. A um, couple of brands that are good are Star and Silver Star. Um, there's also a Blue Star that works really well. There's tons of different ver versions and varieties that are out there. Many that are uh, actually pre-war you can still buy. Um, some that are post-war, whatever. The important part is that you can take these out of the package and when you still have them in here you can go... You hear that snap that means they're actually steel instead of stainless steel and they will snap to a point and they will um, be easily uh, used for what we need them for which is cutting balsa and making sharp points with them so I can pull these out this particular brand looks like this um, and I can take the flat ones here um, that are kind of the rough nose or flat nose and grab another pair and I can just bend it over lightly and they just immediately break along the edge and there I have a nice sharp pointy one to use. This is what we use for actually cutting all of the wood. And that's it for this particular episode. Thank you, hope you learned something.